general preparation phase, um, training routine? Yeah, we do a lot of grass running, uh, you know, like 20 second runs, uh, 30 second runs. Uh, we work a lot with uh, our, our wickets, you know, those hurdles. We do a lot of step over, mm -hmm. side mechanic. Step three for step. Yep. Uh, and then we do a great deal of. Uh, and how often? Uh, one, um, uh, only one uh, per week? No, we do, uh, we, we do that probably three times a week, actually. Oh. Yeah, we do it on our, on our, our quick power days, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. We get the workings out, we run those. Yeah, we do it all season. We start in the, in the, in the fall, and we keep that through. Actually, we did some uh, leading up into this weekend as well. You know, that's part of our routine, running the witness. It just teaches front side mechanics and you know, it helps us spread a little more efficient. Mm -hmm. And um, what distance uh, you run on training? So what, are, what are the longest? Uh, with him now, as a pro, the longest we'll probably go is like 300 meters. Now, when he was a collegiate kid, he was doing a little further because he had to run several rounds and relays and things of that nature. But now, 250 to 300 meters is what we, it's kind of the uh, barometer that we use now. So, so you train endurance or you only, for example, around shortest distance but more times? We, we do it a combination of it. Uh, we work on speed, we work on speed endurance, we work on um, special endurance, which is kind of high intense, long runs. Uh, we cover it all because um, challenging those systems is what's going to get him or help him become round ready to run some fast times like he did in the 60s. And then all that transitions out, outdoors in terms of getting ready for the 100 meters. Mm -hmm. So we cover it all short, long, middle. Um, and high intensity runs as well. Mm -hmm. You think uh, you can still improve his technique or he is oh, yeah. imperfect? Oh, yeah. he, he's, he, he isn't yeah. perfect, yeah? yeah he's, he's, he's really improved the first part of his race. That's why the 60s is coming around and block star and his transition is so much better now. Uh, and we've been working diligently trying to get the last part of the 100, mm -hmm. having him stand up more and be more relaxed. Okay. Um, so that's that's the project. That's our next project, so to speak. Um, and we'll get back and let him rest up and get ready for that for that part of the, mm -hmm. that part, of the part of training. In my opinion, perfect technique uh, was Maurice Green, and how you compare it to? Well, to Maurice was much. He was more stockier. He was he was he was bigger. You know, a little more powerful. Yeah. So he was he was more of a, of a power power runner. Christian has power as well, but I think his his frame, his statue, they they they, they vary. They they're similar in, in in certain ways, but for the most part, Maurice was kind of just a more powerful runner, and Coleman is more of a finesse style runner. Mm -hmm. runner. Um, especially as it gets better with this acceleration technique. Mm -hmm. So, um, so in, in there's some similarities, but yeah. yeah. In general, technique on distance, who you think is better or worse? Oh, Green worse? Uh, I'm gonna go with Cole. <laughs> <laughs> with the with the latest uh, science and, and theory that's involved with track and field now, it's always evolving. You know, um, and in different eras, you have different things that coaches uh, incorporate in their training. Uh, the things that we're doing with him right now, you know, the sky's the limit in terms of improving techniques, getting, uh, put him in a position where he can correct just the smallest angle mm -hmm. as yeah, he's yeah. taller. Exactly. Uh, when he's running, it's, it's really going to aid him and really separate him from the rest of the, the sprinters. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's just one of those things where he's, uh, he, he, he's a special kid, you know, works hard, and just really goes out. As I know, uh, he trained sprint quite quite short, for four years, uh, five years, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure, how, yeah, yeah. how many um, years. Well, he's, he's, been, he's been sprinting, he sprinted, uh, I think he probably started his sophomore year in high school. Mm -hmm. He was a football player. Uh huh. He was a football player. Yeah. yeah. So he probably got serious about track. Maybe it's the end of his junior year and his senior year in high school. Mm -hmm. And then I had him uh, three years and year four. Oh. We're here.